Have you ever noticed how most sports teams are named after animals? It's hard not to. Those names are cool and all, but some of the more popular and iconic sports team names aren't animal-based whatsoever. With that said, let's dive into our 10 favorite non-animal team names in sports. And a big shout out to Steven Gonzalez for suggesting this video. Steelers Pittsburgh is known as the Steel City for obvious reasons. But did anyone really use the term Steelers before the football team took over the name in 1940? This historic franchise made the name cool. In the olden days, several NFL franchises simply took the same name as their MLB team. The Pittsburgh NFL franchise went by the Pirates from their inaugural 1933 season up to 1939 before switching the name to Steelers. It's worth noting the Steelers and Philadelphia Eagles merged as the Steagles for one season back in 1943 because of a player shortage during World War II. The Steelers' name just has a nice sound to it, and it's a fancy way to pay homage to the city's rich history in the steel trade. And the logo is by far one of the most iconic in all of sports, and it shares plenty of similarities to the symbol used by the American Iron and Steel Institute. The Steelers' logo has three hypocycloids, and the special meaning is steel lightens your work, brightens your leisure, and widens your world. The blue one represents steel scrap, the orange one is iron ore, and the yellow one represents coal. These three materials are used for manufacturing steel. The Steelers' steel curtain dynasty dominated the NFL landscape in the 1970s, winning four Super Bowls that decade. Their success obviously helped expand their fan base across the United States, and their rich history has made the Steelers' name and logo all the more meaningful. Celtics The Boston NBA franchise has held the Celtics' name since their establishment in 1946. As local Celtics fans know, the team name is simply a reference to the city's big Irish population. Fun fact, the franchise actually considered the names Unicorns, Whirlwinds, and Olympians before settling on Celtics. Founder and then-owner Walter A. Brown explained the rationale behind choosing the ever-popular name, saying, The name has a great basketball tradition from the old original Celtics in New York, 1914-1939, and Boston is full of Irishmen. The slick team name also led to the creation of Boston's Leprechaun logo, one of the most recognized in the sporting world. And of course, the team mascot is Lucky the Leprechaun. Throw in the green uniforms and you have all of this beautiful artistic incorporation of the city's Irish history. And of course, the team name Celtics can only grow on the average fan when you're historically one of the two most successful franchises in the NBA, along with the Los Angeles Lakers. Saints The city of New Orleans is renowned for its jazz. Some of you younger basketball fans may not know that the NBA's Utah Jazz were initially the New Orleans Jazz from 1974-75 to 1978-79, before they relocated. So yeah, that's why Utah has a team name that doesn't exactly fit their location. When the Saints Go Marching In is one of the more popular jazz tunes, and it's frequently played in the Big Easy. And so, when the NFL franchise was established in 1967, they opted to name the New Orleans football team the Saints. It was not only a tribute to the song, but also the fact that the franchise was born on November 1st, 1966. And November 1st is All Saints Day in the Christian religion. Brewers The Brewers franchise played its inaugural 1969 season in Seattle, and they were named the Pilots. After relocating to Milwaukee in 1970, the name was changed to Brewers, and it's a doozy all right. Now the state of Wisconsin is greatly known for its cheese, which is why it's called America's Dairyland, and fans of the NFL's Green Bay Packers are referred to as cheeseheads. But Milwaukee is also widely famous for its beer and breweries. It's why the city has a long collection of beer-based nicknames, so the Brewers team name doesn't need much more of an explanation. It's obvious as to why they chose it. Brewers just goes along so well with Milwaukee, and the Brewers have found creative ways to tie the whole beer-themed name into the franchise. I mean, let's be real. Brewers sure works as a marketing ploy. Which beer drinkers don't feel like a brewski once they turn a game on, or simply hear someone mention the team name? Mavericks. We know what you're thinking. Isn't Mavericks technically an animal name? After all, the team Maverick describes an unbranded cattle, and there's a horse in the logo. But no. The team name was selected in a fan contest with Express and Wranglers also receiving consideration. It's been said that the name Mavericks was also inspired by the legendary ABC Western television series Maverick, which aired from 1957 to 1962. It starred James Garner, Jack Kelly, and Sir Roger Moore, best known for his performance as James Bond. The word Maverick is also defined as an independent or unorthodox person, so you know, the name has multiple definitions, and it just works for a sports team name. Know what we mean? You gotta stand out from the others. Hence why Mavericks works so well as a team name for Mark Cuban's team. Patriots The Patriots' constant winning in the 21st century has made them one of the most hated teams in America. But the majority of football fans can probably agree on this. Patriots is an awesome team name. Boston was granted an AFL team in 1959. Founder and then-owner Billy Sullivan 
held a contest to determine the team name and Patriots was chosen. And quite frankly, why not? As you know, a Patriot was a colonist who went against Britain in the American Revolutionary War. Their enemies were the Loyalists who stuck by Britain. Patriot is also a term for a person who greatly admires their own country. So why not pay tribute to your own nation? Not to mention, Boston took center stage during America's fight for independence, see the Boston Tea Party. Pat Patriot, the team's official mascot, was also featured on the team's old logos. Pat Patriot is based off of a soldier from the American Revolution. So everything, absolutely everything, works for the Patriots team name. You have the history, the national pride, and the beautiful blue, white, and red uniforms that reflect the colors of the United States. There's a good reason to argue that the Patriots are America's team now over the Dallas Cowboys. Golden Knights The state of Nevada finally received their first professional sports team in 2017, when the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights were born. Owner Bill Foley considered the name Black Knights, he attended the United States Military Academy, and their team name is Black Knights. It's also worth noting that Foley is the chairman of Black Knight Inc. He also considered the name Knights, but the London Knights of the Ontario Hockey League already hold that name. And Foley said acquiring the name is not economically feasible. Foley also added, in the US, Knights are fine, but we can't use it in Canada. And so Foley ultimately decided to settle on Golden Knights. Incredibly cool, crafty, and tough. In a 2016 interview with ESPN, Foley explained how and why he chose the name. My whole idea was to create a logo and a name that was powerful that would epitomize the warrior class. The Knights are the epitome of the warrior class, the top of the line in terms of defending the realm, defending the unprotected. This is all part of the culture we want to create with the hockey team, and hockey players are warriors and they're team players. They're not individuals, they're playing together. The Golden Knights color schemes, team name, and logo are widely viewed as some of the best in the NHL. It didn't take long for this franchise to build a fan base outside of Sin City, that's for sure. And the team has frequently used a knight dressed in gold for pre-game ceremonies. It sure gets rowdy during the postseason, you gotta love it. Foley had some obstacles to overcome, and being based in Vegas and all, there were too many enticing names to choose from. But Golden Knights has grown on a lot of us, and it's safe to say that he made the right call. Astros Established in 1962, the Houston MLB franchise went by the Colt 45s for their first three seasons, before switching to the name Astros in 1965, the same year they moved into the Astro Dome. The Astros team name is obviously short for Astronauts. It's a nod to NASA's Johnson Space Center, which is located in Houston. So it makes sense to change the name to something catchy and fancy like Astros while playing in the Astro Dome. The late Judge Roy Hopkins, who helped the city of Houston land an MLB franchise, explain why they went from the Colt 45 to the Astros. We felt the space idea was more logical because the ball club is in Houston, Space City, USA, and our spring training headquarters is in Cocoa Beach, Florida, at Cape Kennedy Launching Pad, USA. The name and insignia will help dispel the image of Texas as a land of cowboys and Indians, and it behooves every citizen in this area to call attention to the 20th century aspects of Texas and Houston. The Astros aren't the only Houston professional sports team with a space-themed team name. There's also the NBA's Houston Rockets, who were the San Diego Rockets before relocating in 1971. But with all the space history and space ties in Houston, there was no need to change the Rockets team name after the move. Blues The legendary W.C. Handy named Father of the Blues composed the popular 1914 hit song St. Louis Blues. 53 years later, the city of St. Louis was granted an NHL expansion franchise, and so the team name was named the Blues after Handy's song, Short and Sweet Story. St. Louis is widely known for its blues music history, so it was just the perfect name for the hockey team and it was a savvy play on Handy's song. The hockey team's main colors are blue too. Also at blues games, it's common to hear that organists play Handy's aforementioned St. Louis blues song. Not only that, but the fans often sing when the Saints go marching in, except they change the word Saints to blues. The blues logo hasn't changed in much since the franchise inception in 1967, and rightfully so. Why change something that's perfect in every way? This franchise has done a masterful job including the whole blues theme into their hockey team. Raiders The Raiders were originally based in Oakland. They moved to LA and played there from 1982 to 1994 before moving back to Oakland in 1995. The franchise relocated to Las Vegas in 2020, but one thing has remained the same throughout all the moves, the Raiders team name. As it should, the name and logo are too awesome to change at this point. Established in 1960, the Raiders were initially going to be called the Seniors, which finished first in a team name contest. But the name sparked laughter and jokes across the community, so the decision was made to go with Raiders instead. Not that Raiders fans should complain or anything, the pirate theme is just so cool and intimidating for a professional football team. And before the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came along, the NFL didn't have any pirate-based teams. 
The black and silver colored uniforms are also some of the best in professional sports. The Raiders were a powerhouse for nearly two decades, from 1967 to 1985, winning one AFL championship and three Super Bowls behind their intimidating persona. Mark Davis' decision to relocate the Raiders to Las Vegas was understandably met with plenty of criticism, given the longtime loyalty from the folks in Oakland, but at least credit him for keeping the name and logo intact. When it comes to non-animal team names, few, if any, are better than the Raiders. Wouldn't you agree? Which do you think is the best non-animal team name in professional sports? Join us in the comments section below. If you're new here, do you haven't subscribed yet? Now's a great time to do that by hitting that subscribe button down there. If you like the video, then hit the like button. We'd really appreciate it. And until next time, tune into TPS every single day for more cool videos. We'll see you.